Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam, and today you will learn how to measure cysts on ultrasound. We will mainly focus on measuring simple cysts in various organs. On ultrasound, a simple cyst appears as an anechoic round structure with posterior acoustic enhancement. To measure the cyst, first obtain optimal image planes, the sagittal or longitudinal plane, and the transverse plane, which gives a cross-section view of the cyst. Try to get the maximum dimensions in each plane. Once the full cyst is seen, freeze the image. Ensure that the wall of the cyst is fully visualized and not obscured. Usually, in the longitudinal plane, two measurements can be taken. This image shows a longitudinal view of a large hepatic cyst. The length is usually the measurement taken in this view along the long axis of the cyst. The height is the anteroposterior measurement, the AP measurement. Then in the transverse plane, the width can be measured. It is the horizontal measurement in the transverse or the axial plane. For measuring cysts, place the calipers at their inner walls, not the outer walls and try to place them perpendicular to the walls. You can round off the measurement to the nearest millimeter or one decimal point in centimeters. For example, if a measurement is 28.24 millimeters, then you can round it off to 28 millimeters, and if you convert this into centimeters, it will be 2.8 centimeters. Oblique measurements can be taken in cysts, which are not very smooth or rounded and have an irregular shape. This is a renal cyst. The first image is in the longitudinal plane. This is the kidney, and this is the renal cyst. To measure the length, place the calipers on the inner walls of the superior and inferior aspects of the cyst. Try to keep the calipers perpendicular to the walls. Similarly, take the anteroposterior measurement by placing the calipers perpendicular to the walls to get the height. Then rotate the probe to get a transverse image of the cyst and take a horizontal measurement of it to measure its width. This is a simple breast cyst. To measure this cyst, Place the calipers accordingly in this manner to get the length and height in the longitudinal plane and measure the width in the transverse plane. These images show a mostly cystic thyroid nodule. It has some solid areas but is mostly cystic. This structure is not round in shape. The first image is in the transverse plane. For some lesions such as this one, you can measure the height in the transverse plane along with the width. This is because in the transverse plane, you might see a better orientation of the lesion. The height can be more accurately measured. So if you feel that the height is better visualized in the transverse plane, you can measure it in this view. After measuring the height and width in the transverse plane, you can switch to the longitudinal plane and measure the length. Now we will learn how the volume of the cyst is measured on ultrasound. The ultrasound machine can automatically calculate the volume once you have input the length, height, and width values. But if you want to calculate it manually, you can use this formula. It is the formula to calculate the approximate volume of the cyst. Length into width into height divided by 2. Keep in mind that this formula will give an approximate volume, so it's not 100% accurate. Let's use this case to calculate the volume of this cystic nodule. Its length is 28.2 millimeters. The height is 20.1 millimeters and the width is 29.4 millimeters. Here we have used the exact measurements in millimeters instead of rounding off to the nearest millimeter so we can get a volume that is as accurate as possible. 
let's input these values into the formula. 28.2 into 29.4 into 20.1, which is equal to 16,661.6. This is then divided by 2, giving 8,330.8 cubic millimeters. To convert it into milliliters, you can divide this value by 1,000. It gives 8.33 milliliters. This is the approximate volume. This is how you calculate the approximate volume of the cysts. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more imaging videos.